Hi guys, welcome to Pixel Affair. It's Kobe here. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the basics of basics of Cinema 4D scene nodes for motion graphics, and you'll see how we will use it to do something like this, right? So this is like a toy or an animal made out of Lego brick, right? You can see some Lego brick forming the shape of an animal, and it's the same thing here. This time it's animated. You can see like mouncy working made out of lego brick i use this similar uh, similar technique on here this one is like a worker running and eventually sort of collapse into a bunch of cubes right and this also easy to do a little bit of circle packing here this all these are quite straightforward and very easy to do now because this video is for the very basics of cinema 4d scene nodes for motion graphics there will be a lot of basic explanation and in-depth explanation of how to start it completely so how to set up your um, distribution modes and all of that and for that there will be in-depth explanation so this video might take a bit longer so there's going to be two parts the first part is going to be the basic explanation and like introduction if you have no idea about scene nodes and how to set it up and then the second part will be how to set it up with um character and for the clones to inherit the um, color of your geometry or your character and how to set it up with effectors and dynamics and all of those shenanigans see how we use it to do something like this right and including this one as well as well so before we get into it i want to give a shout to dominic rookley i don't know if i'm getting the name right but you can check his youtube channel he has a lot of interesting advanced stuff with Sinos there. You can actually check it later, right? And also Noseman, right? And there are a couple of other YouTube channels that I probably um, couldn't keep the channel, but like there are a couple of good tutorials out there. So I'm in Cinema 4D and I'm using Cinema 4D 2024.2. And as we all know, one of the core elements in more graphics in Cinema 4D is the clone object. So let's see how we create the clone object in Cinema 4D C nodes so straight away if you want to create our nodes we can simply go to the top level come here you can see nodes click on the nodes layout and you have our nodes layout simple right and this is the top level working directly in nodes right and to create our clone object the cloner version or the c node version of clone object is called distribution so if i in this um, node space here if i type c you can see we have this and you can look for distribution so if i type distribution can see we have all these distributions right and down here we have a distribution up and this contains all these distributions up here so i'll choose the distribution up but if you want a specific distribution you can actually choose it for that so i'll choose the distribution up and now we have it in our scene right now as we all know this is like our cloner so we connect it to the children here right and you can see nothing happens in the scene now as a cloner it will definitely need an object so the object we can create it directly in our um, uh, scene notes here so if i press c again and look for something like say sphere you can see we have a sphere mesh here you drag it in here and now if i connect it you can see automatically now we have our clones of spheres right if i select the distribution of which is like the cloner like i said and come here you can see we have all these sorts of um distribution modes so i can set it to grid um this is grid offset and can set it to grid and you can see we have all of this so this is working directly in nodes and you can see we don't have anything in our object manager to show like the object that's working here so this is like the top level but this is not the way i want us to work on we want to have a way like we have an object in the scene that we can manipulate and use our own cinema 4d objects to create our clones and all of that so that's what we are going to do in fact you can actually create our own object and bring it in here like the cube See, I'll bring it in here and I'll connect it to the, and you can see it's working, right? That one can work as well, but we want, I want a way we can actually have control of our clones and everything in the object manager. So that's how we are going to work. So let me go ahead, ahead and delete all of the, in fact, let me create a new scene for that, right? And let's go to the standard layout. So this is completely a new scene. So how do we do that? We will need something called object group so i'll come into my asset browser here and i'll search for object um 
and if i have like the notes tab selected you can see you have object group right so you can this is it object group so i'll drag it into our object manager and now within this is what we are going to create our distribution so that you can actually customize it to how we want it so now if i double click on the object group and you can see we have it open here we have a node editor open so in here we can do the same thing that we did with the distribution so if i press c and look for distribution and come down you can see we have the distribution up so what i've done is i've favorited it so like anytime i don't have to search i can go to favorite and i'll see it there so i'll just bring our distribution up and one good thing about this is that immediately i even without any object immediately i connect the this to the up we can see there is some dots in this in fact let me change the mode to grid and you can see we have some dots in the scene already which is giving us some visual representation of our distribution right so now we can go ahead and do the same thing look for a sphere like type c and look for the sphere like we did right and connect it and you can see we have the same thing but this is something that you might want to do but we want to use our own object in cinema 4d in the scene of cinema 4d to actually create so for instance if i come in here and i create say a torus right down to be able to use the torus so i can simply drag it in here connect it like i did and you can see it's working but i don't want to do that we want a situation where when i place this object under this um object group you should know this is a child or you should know this is supposed to be the form of our distribution so that's what we want to do right so for now i'll delete the grid so basically we have nothing and now you can see i have this platonic placed under the object group so what i'll do is that i'll create a connect object right and put the platonic under it and make the connect object a child of our group right uh, object group the reason i'm doing that is so that i can simply easily swap it with another object right you can simply use the platonic but i'm just using the connect so that anytime i want i can change the platonic to like say cube and everything stays um the same so i'll select the connect and make sure we all this on check and now that we've done that right you can simply now come back into us in fact let me drag this down here to make space for that so we can now come into uh node editor and now we can look for um something called children's up so if i look for children um children right there's this one called children up right so i'll drag it into my node and now we connect this up to the object oh sorry up to the object and now take this children um, port somewhere you can drag it out anywhere and say add new input and you can see it's now added this spot here and it's created children so what the reason why we are bringing these children up is that so that anytime we drop any object under this um group it recognizes that there's a new child that has been dropped in here right so let's set it up so now that we've connected this we can right click out here and say edit resource and then you can come you can see we have children here in, under the operator come to the advanced tab and now let's tell it the, what we want it to recognize so we can come and change it to instead of none we set it to object right and now anytime you place an object you will know there's an object there so you can see now our platonic has disappeared in our scene we don't see it and if you come in here you can see we have only one children so now if i come in here and i create something like say a sphere and i drop it under you can see immediately another children uh, port has been created right if i create let me create another um something drag it under you can see immediately it shows in here and you have three children because you have three objects right so for now let me actually delete these two and we delete it it's gone so that's all this what this children um node is doing so let's hide it here so now let's go in and go ahead and create a distribution so you can see now it's not even showing in our object um, in our um, viewport we can simply connect take the children up and connect it here and you can see now 
it shows in our viewport so it tells you that it's actually working now let's go ahead and start creating our distribution so now if you want to create our clones like i we did type c and look for distribution right um drag it in and now we can change it to any mode say let's do grid once again and connect our children up here we connect it to the up of the grid and now straight we connect and i can see we have our object right so immediately i want to change it to something like say cube I can drag the cube in here and now delete the platform again you can see we have our object into cubes so that's basically quite simple right now how do we for instance change it to, um, let me come into the um, grid and change the mode to something like say polygon surface how do we get it to clone it on a surface or something so i'll come in here and i'll change it to polygon center so we want an object that we want to clone on the surface on like the way we did with the mousey all right and that's another simple way so let me come in here and i'll create say let me create a sphere i'll make it quite a little bit bigger right something like that and i'll set it to a cassahedron something like this so we want to clone on the surface of this sphere how do we do that right first of all like i said we will drop it under the object group but for swappability i want to put it in the connect again right and i'll drag it under the object group but i would want it to stay first so that anytime it knows like the first object but it doesn't matter where it stays you can just connect it so but i want it to stay first and i'll probably name it one so that i know what is the difference okay so now that we have our sphere in it this is what we want to clone on so you can see now it's in our scene there's the sphere if i connect it you can see it's showing right so i'll drag this and now I'll select the polygon group now initially when it was set to grid c you can see there was no um port here but immediately i changed it to um polygons center you can see now a new port has been created so it's asking us which geometry do we want to um clone on on the surface so now with because we added the chart you can see it's showing in here so i'll click on this triangle to open it and now you choose use this geometry node the geometry port you connect it to our geometry and now you can see it cleaning on the surface of our um, sphere right i'll make our platonic a little bit smaller you can see it's cleaning on the surface of our sphere so now if i select the distribution and come here and you can change it to various i can set to vertex i can set to edge right and there are other modes that we can actually set it to and that's the main reason why i feel like the cinema 4 dc node um, distribution is very um, nice because it has some modes that we don't have in the normal cloner something like say um um surface scale blue noise right where i mean we actually talk about that later we also have um surface fill right and Another interesting is surface voxel solid, uh, solidify, um, solidify basically. So um, my cinema 4D froze for a second because I mean one thing I didn't actually talk about and I think let me talk about it right now is now when you are going through these modes, for instance the surface um, solidify and all of those things, it's it can actually ge generate a lot of clones instantly, especially if you have a dense mesh and everything. So you have to actually check but one thing you can do because this object group is literally like a, a cloner object in our scene you can select it and come to its attributes down here you can see we have generator if you select generator we can actually change the mode from instant to multi-instant like in asthma 4d cloner so that any geometry generator can be a bit faster right so that sometimes it will help in that in those cases so basically you can see like i said we have a lot of modes in here which we actually go in um, later in fact the surface uh, voxel fill is what i actually um, which one surface voxel solidify is what i actually use for the mouse one you can actually also use the volume um voxel fill and what that does is that in fact let me also make this one um, let me see. first of all disconnect this i'm not sure select 
um, this and come and choose the volume voxel fill, right? I actually set the voxel size to something like 10 to make sure I'm a bit safe and the inner fill to let me actually leave the inner fill. So now let me connect back. And now you can see we have all these um, platonic dense platonic um, created and it's filling the volume of our object right and it's actually doing it in a way that if we set the platonic right to like 10 centimeters itself it will not intersect but it will fill our volume of our object so let me actually increase this to something like say um, 30 so that it will be a bit faster because the sphere is quite big right so you can see if i select the platonic and set it to 30 it will figure close it will generate in, in fact 15 because it's a radio so i'll set it to 15 and you can see it generates um platonics that will ne not intersect but you'll fill our volume object perfectly and that's what i actually that's actually what made me actually started exploring with the scene nodes distribution right so you can actually i think our sphere is very big that's why so let wow it's quite big let's make this here something like that yeah so you can see now our scene is quite um light now right and you have the volume fill basically so we have all this distribution and you actually go into it how to use it on the mouse but i'm sure by now you get the fair idea right now the next question is how do you use probably multiple objects so for instance um like i have platonic but what if i want to I have like four different or three different objects i want all to clone on the surface of the sphere right how do you do that right because for instance if i come in here let's go ahead and create so now i have a platonic let's create say a thorus and make it smaller right i'll put it in a connect once again for easy swappability right and i'll drag it under probably name this to let me start naming them three and let's create another object like say a cube yeah a cube will be fine make it smaller so and also the same thing let's place it under connect for swappability sake and drag it here and i'll probably call this m4 so we want to clone the two three four the uh, um platonic the torus and the cube on the surface of our sphere how do we do that right and that can be tricky so we have you can see we have all of them in our scene but it's only one that you can connect at a time right so that's where um, this trick comes in so one thing you need to understand is that the volume distribute um our distribution is connecting you can see we connect the up to up and the up contains a lot of information so it contains the matrix position the color ratio index and all of that right so what we can do is that we want we can actually um connect only the matrix so we can set, take this one only the matrix and connect it here we can create a matrix up but if we connect it directly this will automatically create a matrix up for us so we can can see we have our object created right but now um, our clones are not showing so what it means that we have to connect our object the clone that we want rather connecting it to our distribution of we we'll connect it to matrix up, up i mean no not this year now i'm connecting this year itself so um let me take this one off the object we want to connect so the geometry right so let's take this geometry and connect it here um why are we hold on for a second let's connect this oh yeah so what i've done is that i've taken off um let me undo quickly what i have i, I made a mistake here so this is the geometry we are cloning on so that should be on the sphere that's fine and now the object this object that we want to clone which is the platonic or the cube or the torus that we've created we connect that one rather here oh i mean i'm still um should be one of these yeah distribution matrix oh yeah we should make sure let's set it to great for now because i'm yeah so you can see we have the same thing so 
now we set it to grid now um the object we want to clone we connect instead of connecting it to the up down here um let me instead of connecting it to this up down here we connect it directly to the matrix and now we've sent the matrix information from this grid into this matrix up right so we have other stuff in here that we can actually use later and there's a reason why i'm doing this and this is interesting right so now we are um, using our grid to pass through the matrix up to connect it to our up up here to show in our viewport right and now we've connected our object that the object we want to clone here so any object that we want to clone we can correct connect it directly here so i can see it's the cubes and um, the cube is too small i mean for now right it's the cubes that we've connected it can also be the uh, platonic and this is the sphere all right so let's go back to our object so i'll come in here now choose um, edge right and now let's connect back our geometry down here so now yeah things are working fine so you can see we have a um, platonic on the surface of our sphere once again like we did initially so how do we connect all these three at the same time we will need um, a node called switch so if i type c and look for switch right we have a switch so with the switch you can see we have inputs so what you tell the switch let's come into the attribute here and change the data type it's now set to none we choose geometry objects so the data type we want it to recognize is the geometry objects so the geometries that we want to use and i can see you have only two inputs so depending on the number that you you have the number of objects you want you can actually increase it so we want three rather because i have three objects so i add create add input and you can see we have now three inputs right so now instead of connecting our um, objects directly into the up we can connect them to the switch so i'll now take the platonic and i'll put it into um, not the platonic directly let's go in here um let me uncheck this and then you can see now let's take the geometry not the plat geometry connected to the input one do the same thing Ge this geometry connect input two and let's connect this geometry to input three so now we have all these three right and now we can connect this to the up we can see sma 40 generates um, a, ge a geometry up for us which help us to connect it to the matrix right so now we can have connected the switch and i can see we have um the platonic that's showing and that if i select the switch and come here you can see the index is set to zero now in sma 40 start counting from zero up so the first object which is the input one will be zero the next if i choose and you can see it's the torus let me make it smaller right you can see it's the torus and if i set it to two it's supposed to be the cube but sometimes refreshing the issue so maybe i'll disconnect and connect it back oh let me add it in um oh, let me connect it back here so you can see now it has refreshed and we have our cubes that's connected right so let me select the switch and see zero the refresh issue actually be, um, i don't know why it does that but you can see zero is platonic two uh, one is our torus but how do we get the three all at a time that's where you can see in the switch we have index right so we can use the index of our distribution to actually make it cycle through our object so if i come into our distribution um which is set to edge and now bring the whole thing here and now you see the up op open it you can see we have index right so we can use the index to actually control that so if i select the index and connect it to the index of our switch you can see now it's set uh, it's turn it into the queue right nothing has changed just that it's choosing the queue but if you select the switch and come into here and you see cycle index and click on it you can see now we have all three showing we have our cube torus and 
platonic all showing right and this is really interesting we can actually use other um, modes as well so we can probably use the ratio let's see and you can see the ratio is distributing it differently in a, you can see that torus one side the um, um, platonic on one side like it's different let's try something else um, let's see position um, not much is changing but let's basically use the index and what the index is doing is that it's taking all of that and it's sort of cycling through right like iterating that's the iteration mode you can actually do other ways to make a random a bit but for now let's stay with this so now you see how you can actually create um, multiple objects as clones in the scene nodes right so this part is set so now let's actually see how do we actually color our clones so we can actually come in here and see type c um color and now we have a color up that we have here you can actually drag it in here and now you can connect our um matrix copy and see you can see now we have our color and now if we now the color is set to black so you can simply turn it any color that you want so i hope this first part of the explanation makes you understand how this whole distribution and things work within signals it's quite straightforward but sometimes it looks a bit intimidating if you're watching it but it's just simple as just drop dropping in a distribution node and if you don't want to go through all this drag, dragging and dropping in our object and connecting it and making sure things works right so now let's go to the part where we use it to create um our uh, mousey if i come into my picture viewer right our uh, mousey and how we made it in inherit the colors of the um, object right we we'll actually get that one and i'm sure now that you understand this you understand that part as well so let's actually get into that part